What's up everybody? So I'm gonna talk about my ob gyne rotation and everything I experience. That way you can be more prepared for your rotation. Let's get to it. So my ob gyne rotation was five weeks long. Um, I was at an outside hospital, so I wasn't with my main institution, but this is one of the most well-known hospitals in the area for ob gyne So it was very high volume, very high paced, um, great for learning, but if you want an easy rotation, ob is probably not going to be the one for you. So my five-week rotation was split into five one-week rotations. The first week was OB, so C-sections, deliveries, every day for five straight days. Then maternal fetal medicine, which is like high-risk OB. And then I went to gynecology, so it really wasn't outpatient, it was inpatient gynecology. And then I went... I was supposed to do oncology, but that went over my winter break, so they just let me not do that. So they put me back on maternal fetal medicine, and then they put me back on OB. So I really just saw high risk or maternal fetal medicine, OB, and gyne. Um, it was awesome. I've never delivered a baby, so get ready for that when you're on OB. Um, you're going to do C-sections, and you're going to be expected to help out a little bit they'll fill you out and see how comfortable you felt. This was one of my last rotations and I've already done surgery so they expected a lot more of me than if it was my first rotation. So that's gonna that's gonna change depending on your comfort level. Um, OB was sitting in this one call room with the OB residents and whenever a person was about to deliver they'd call you out, you'd go over there, you'd either do a vaginal delivery or if it had to be a c-section you go to the OR and do a an, um, c-section. Simple as that. Um, for the C-sections, know the relevant anatomy of that and the major complications. Um, that's what they're gonna ask you. Whenever you're in there, it's a very fast surgery, so they don't ask you a lot of questions, but they just want you to know the high yield stuff. So complications and relevant anatomy are basically what they ask you. Remember the patient's awake, so they're not gonna ask you crazy things because they don't wanna freak the patient out or the dad if they're sitting in there. Um, for um, MFM or maternal fetal medicine, which is the high risk service, those are patients that come in with like uh, premature ruptured membranes or um, choreo or things like that. Things that aren't necessarily, you know, the best. So these are the patients that are going to be inpatient until they deliver for the most part. Um, with that service, they also had an outpatient clinic so patients could come in and see their doctors from an outpatient's perspective. Um, so that was where you get your outpatient stuff. Um, I was supposed to do oncology. I somehow snaked out of that. I don't know how. It just worked out that way. But most people will have an oncology service. I just can't attest to it because I didn't experience that. But for the most part, the residents are pretty nice. I mean, they're all like delivering babies all the time, so they're super happy. But they are worked so much. They're like the most worked service that I've ever been with. They all worked 80 hours a week. Um, and for the most part, they expected you to be there the whole day. So I got there around 5.45 in the morning and left around four to five. And that was me typically like leaving early. Um, if you're a fourth year who expressed interest in ob they're gonna have you be there the same amount of time as the interns and second, third, and fourth years. Um, that's just the way that they work because they're so overworked. Um, the resources I used was just UWorld, just pounded out every UWorld question, and then I used the questions that the NVMe sells you, the 50 questions for 20 bucks. I did all of those. Um, I felt like the ob gyne rotation, or the ob gyne NVMe, may have been easier than most because they're so... The questions are so focused on ob gyne related topics, obviously but I feel like there's not that many topics compared to like internal medicine. So that's kind of nice. Um, just do your questions and you should probably be fine. I learned probably the most from my rotations that helped me on my shelf than any other rotation. So that also helped my score out a lot. Um, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. If you have a video that you wanna see, just ask and I'll do it. But other than that, thanks for watching.